South Korea was chosen to head the United Nations Human Rights Council this year as the international organization elected South Korean diplomat Choi Gyung Nim to be the president of that council. Now, um, this makes Choi the first South Korean diplomat uh, or South Korean to be elected as uh, the head of a UN organization that deals with human rights related concerns. And he joins us from Geneva via Skype. Ambassador Cheya, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. I'm very pleased to be with you. All right. Um, now, uh, first of all, I'd like to extend my uh, congratulations to you for being elected as the president. Um, you've now been in office for about two weeks now, I believe. Um, how has it been so far as the chief of a global human rights body? Well, uh, the Human Rights Council is an institution that has a very heavy workload. Uh, this year, uh, the first series of meetings start next week, Monday, for two weeks. So from right from the start of the new year, I was taken up in the preparatory works. At the, looking at the bigger picture, from the perspective of the Human Rights Council, I think uh, this is a very difficult year. Many regional conflicts in various parts of the world, including in the Middle East, show no sign of uh, lessening. Terrorism is again rampant, and uh, migration crisis is wreaking havoc in many parts of the world. And all of these, these developments pose serious challenge to human rights. So uh, let's talk about human rights issues around the world. You, um, you pointed out to the Syrian refugee crisis as well as uh, those refugees at the European um, border as well. But uh, North Korea is also um, an area that we should focus a lot in terms of human rights issues in that, in that state. Now, um, as in a collective manner, what does the uh, UN Human Rights Council have in the works or a plan or any of that sort in terms of um, looking at the human rights issue in North Korea? Well, uh, as we know, uh, North Korea has uh, one of the worst human rights conditions in the world. The regime does not allow people many fundamental human rights so it's natural that the Human Rights Council has discussed the North Korean issue uh, for many years. They have appointed a special rapporteur on the North Korean uh, human rights conditions. And um, they discuss North Korean human rights issues every year at the council. It also has established special United Nations office in Seoul on North Korean human rights issues. So far, North Korean government has not taken any action to improve uh, the human rights condition in North Korea. So I think the Human Rights Council does not have any other choice than continuing to focus on the North Korean human rights issue this year to further explore possible action. Well, uh, rightfully so, and I'm sure for the rest of this year, you will put your utmost efforts into tackling and um, better protecting the human rights issues all around the world, including North Korea, of course. Uh, Ambassador Choi Gyung Nim, thank you so much for your time today, and uh, we look forward to seeing you again in our newscast. Thank you very much.